Hey guys, this is DJ Thomas White, and I just on my lunch break here wanted to take a quick minute to talk about the five things I'm most excited about with the Isla Chordbot. The Isla Chordbot is a project available right now from Isla Instruments uh, on Kickstarter, and essentially what it is is a, a hardware controller used in studios for MIDI and sequencing purposes. But the top five reasons, let's just go ahead and get started. So number one, the Chordbot, for people like me who aren't traditionally trained, and don't have a wealth of musical skill, allows easy access to complex chords, and it also will even suggest chord progressions to you based off of standard chord progressions in music. The second reason I like the Isla Chordbot is the ribbon controller that you see here. It allows you to strum MIDI notes and instruments in a way that you typically would associate with a guitar. Trying to strum a keyboard, yes, you can run the key, your finger up and down, but in order to strum chords and specific notes in, uh, in chord structure is actually very difficult unless you're an extremely skilled musician. Number three, I really like the chord memory pads at the top. The chord memory pads on the, uh, issue, the um, model as announced on Kickstarter, there's six of them. And what those allow you to do is memorize a chord per pad so you can make chord progressions. They've announced a stretch goal of $150,000. If they reach that, they're going to actually double those and make 12. So what that allows you to do is instead of hitting a combination of chord modifier and then the key that you want the chord to be in, you have 12 chords that you can program and immediately access at the top. The fourth reason I like the chord bot is chord sequencing. For a long time as a musician, I've wanted something along the lines of a chord pegiator where you could take chords, put them in a sequence, and actually arpeggiate those chords and then send that out maybe to analog or maybe, uh, uh, to digital soft synth instruments to make interesting compilations based on chord pegiation. Uh, the fifth thing that I really like about the Chordbot is it works for everybody, the connectivity of it. It connects uh, via USB to your computer, it connects via MIDI to your hardware devices, and it will also connect over Bluetooth to your Android or iPad um, uh, soft synth uh, apps that you may have. So again, it's the Isla Chord Bot. I'm really excited about it. I hope they hit the stretch goal. It's going to get a little bit taller. There'll be uh, four more encoders and six more buttons along with a much bigger screen. So if you, like me, maybe aren't the greatest musician but really like to make music, and could use some help in regards to chord and chord structure, I encourage you to check out the Chord Bot. They're available to be backed right now for $259 and they should be available later this year. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another one of my videos. So unbelievable, of course I forgot some things. So really there's actually six things I really like about the Chord Bot and that's if I had to limit it down. But the sixth thing I really like about the Chord Bot is the chord spread feature. So let's just say you're holding down a three note chord. By doing that and turning the chord spread feature up, what essentially you're going to do is you're going to start to add notes in that same chord up and down the keyboard to the point where you would need, uh, as stated in the video, 10 hands to hold all the notes of the chord held down. So in the demos, I encourage you to check those out on the site. Um, they do a good job of showing what that feature does, but it really has a lot of application for electronic music where you're looking to build the sound and build the harmonics and build the tone with more notes. And it's literally with the chord bot, with one knob, you can make that happen. So had to jump in and add that. Uh, check out the chord bot. You know how I'm going to.